All right, it is Saturday, February 20th, I think. And yesterday there was a snowstorm and in Gurney's infinite wisdom, some trees that I had ordered, they shipped in the middle of the f snowstorm while the ground is frozen. So, I don't want to call this an emergency potting, but I don't see as I have much choice. It's not like I can put these in the ground, so they're going to go in containers. So we'll see if they fail and if Gurney gives me a hard time about them failing. So, since I received them unexpectedly, I soaked them overnight in a combination of water and Super Thrive, and I figure I'll take this opportunity to test the plants in two different types of containers. So my ultimate goal is to make them into bonsai and last year, no, two years ago, I did a project with a friend and we had a bunch of grow bags and I have a number of them left over so I'm going to compare the growth in the grow bag versus the growth in a bulb pan. Now the advantage to the grow bag, allegedly, is that the fabric root prunes the trees. Whereas a plastic container, the fabric, the, the plastic, the, when the roots hit the edge, they just start making laps around the container. So I have no idea if this is true. I tried this type container on a couple of other my plants last year. I haven't gotten around to looking at the roots yet this year. But the plants are growing nicely. I see two differences here already. One is volume. The fabric container is going to give the tree far more root run, so I'm anticipating it will bulk up faster. Now these are both native plum trees. So I'm curious to see how they behave compared to other native plums that I've purchased. Of course, Gurney's is so scientific, all they say is Prunus. They don't tell me which native plum it is. So make sure we keep those labels. So I have some really, really funky roots. Interesting. I'm um, not sure where I'm going to go, but one's got to go in the bulb pan and one's got to go in the fabric container. Now, I'm not anticipating anything great and wonderful, but I am going to remove that big chunky end of the root. As you can hear, we're still digging out from yesterday's storm. And it's so warm in the greenhouse today that the exhaust fans have come on. Alright, so this was soaked in Super Thrive overnight. It's got some really unfortunate rootage. Don't know if I'll... how many seasons it's going to take to make this usable as a bonsai, but all I have to lose is 20 bucks and some shelf space. This one's going to be a little more entertaining. So, these roots up here will probably never develop into anything. And I've got plenty of fine feeder roots above that. So 
So I'll do the same as I do with regular bonsai. Put a mound. Really, I'm thinking this needs to go in a one gallon pot for a year. Really thinking I should stabilize it for a year before I start spreading the roots. But I'm lazy. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, see how these behave. Alright, so Prunus native plum. And I'll put a little tag in here that will no doubt disintegrate in the sunlight. Today is the 20th? 20th, I think. All right, so emergency potting. Got two more to go. Nothing very exciting to see here. So two prunus and I have an apricot. So this one came with damaged roots. Too bad, I was thinking about keeping all of that. So maybe he'll go in a shallow pot. And this is a red bud. Redwood is just such an outrageous plant. I have no idea if it has any potential as bonsai, but my instructor was always experimenting with new plants, and I've kind of inherited that behavior. So, we'll see what happens. So, catch me in a couple months. We'll see if they're still alive. So, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, questions, comments, blah, blah, blah. Go out and play with your plants.